So this is for the 46 and 42 RE. It's the pilot bushing that goes in the overdrive. And there's actually two of them. And the one, apparently, the outside diameter uh, varies for the, the recess that it fits into. So Sonex has got this part where you actually machine the output shaft to actually fit this oversized bearing because the output shaft isn't consistent across different used output shafts that you may buy. So those are the specifications. So the first thing they call for is a run out of less than half a thousandth. So I've got this uh, steady rest and it's absolutely true to probably within a couple of tenths. So I've got no problem there. <coughs> so I'm using this cubic boron nitride Chinese insert and this is very very sharp and this is actually a hardened shaft so you want to cut half a thousand so you need something really hard even the carbide inserts seem to wear out after one cut they're not sharp but this allows you to cut half or even a quarter of a thousandth so I'm measuring the bore and I've got to measure it in two places close to the rim and then deep inside to check that it's parallel because on on a lathe obviously if your lathe isn't tightened up it's going to move as you machining down the bore. Now this is of course a much better way of measuring the bore than those little screw things that you stick in. You set your um, offset and then you just check to see how many half thousands sit off and this measures to a half thousandth. I actually like one which measures to a tenth but I don't have one. So you can really see very easily and clearly whether you're within specification. So here's an eye gauging digital micrometer and I don't know why anyone would buy a manual micrometer. It makes no sense. It wastes hours of your life if you're going to do a lot of measuring. The digital micrometer just tells you what the measurement is. It just tells you. It just tells you, okay? <laughs> Why would anyone sit and try and read those tiny little lines on a manual micrometer when for a few bucks more you can actually get like a digital micrometer? Um, so here it is pressed in and um, it's a very, very close fit. Maybe because it also I was one thousandth too small or half a thousandth too small. I was like in the outside range of the specification. So once it's in, it spins freely. It's not binding or anything, but it's very, very, very close. Now I think there's probably only a thousandth of clearance in there. Um, so this is a very, very nice product. Very close, very tight, very precise. That's all, folks.